Fish. Fish. Moxie. Fish. Moxie. Fish. Come on. Fish. Fish. Hmm. She's not interested. Hope you guys are. Yes. Today we are going to make a tadpole lure. Here's the sneak peek of the final result. The irregular shape on top of the fin is not intended, but I think it looks kind of cool. So previously we have made this salamander lure, which I think is very similar to what we are going to do today. Just take out the body and the legs part. So here's the tadpole. And again, we are going to start with the head, eyes, tail, and the fins. We will make the fin wavy, like what we did in the salamander build. All right, let's get started. Here we start with the head. So go to create form, choose quad ball, set the dimension and symmetry. Then we can start sculpting. When you do the sculpting, you can enable multiple views. So when you move one point, you can see it move in different views. This will help you to locate the 3D position more efficiently. To enable multiple views, you can go to the bottom toolbar or press shortcut shift 1. And when you are done, just press shift 1 again and you will come back to the single view. Here I'm preparing for the tail. First I draw a line, then I use that line to create a pipe form. Then I sculpt that pipe form to the desired shape. Next, I combine the head and tail, and this process will form an intersection line. Then I apply a fillet on that line to make a smooth transition between the head and tail. Eyes are just simply spheres. Again, we use the same multiple view trick, so we can locate the 3D position for the eyes more efficiently. For the fins, first we construct the wavy plane where we can grow the fins on. We will also use this wavy plane to split the mold later on. So go to the top toolbar, choose create form under the create dropdown, and then select plan. Then you enter the number of faces based on how many folds you want in your wavy plane. Here I choose 4x2 for both top and bottom but you can use different settings. They don't need to be symmetrical. Next, we modify the shape of the plane by moving the nodes. Here I only move the very top and bottom nodes because I still want the fin to be straight in the center of the tail. Now add thickness to the wavy plane. Next step is to stamp out the shape of the fins using the extrude function. To achieve that, first we draw the outline and then use that outline as the profile to extrude. Set the operation to intersect.
Finally, combine all parts, and there you have it, the complete tadpole. I thought about adding the hind legs, but I will leave that to you guys. You can use the salamander build as an example. Let's talk about the mold. Uh, because of this wavy plan, we cannot cut the mold in half using the flat surface. So instead, we have to use the wavy plan that we built earlier to cut the mold. So what I did here is I, I make a block the same size as the wavy plan. And then after I split the block using the wavy plan, I then extend the flat surface on top and bottom and also on the front to cover the whole tap hole. Here I'm cutting the tadpole out of the mold. Now repeat the same process for the other half. For the sprue, I'm locating the gate at the mouth of the tadpole, so it will not affect the shape of the head too much. This is the original design and as you can see, the injection path is very long and narrow. This will cause some dent on your bait when it cools down because the path doesn't hold enough material for the bait to draw when the plastic cools down. So I made some modification after this version. Now make the mold box bigger to cover the sprue. Finally, trim out the excess if you want to save some print time and filament. Venting is just to run some air duct from the model to outside on the mold split. The tricky part of venting on this mold is that the split on this mold is not exactly flat, which means we cannot just create straight air duct. We need to create the desired venting on the mold split surface. To achieve that, we will draw the desired venting on the flat surface first, then we project those lines to the split surface. Then we turn those projected lines into pipes. Here we need to make sure that the venting pipes are going into the model and also going to outside of the mold. Once we have those venting pipes made, we then cut them out from the mold using cut operation in combined function. Let's take a closer look at those venting. And don't forget the registration assistant, marks, structures, whatever, which I forgot in the initial mold. Oops. In the initial mold, I have two configurations. One is a flat belly and the other one is um, a little bit hollow body. And this one is the one with the flat belly. I 
thought the mold would hold this piece by the friction if I clamp them down tight enough. But it turns out it's a failure. You'll see later. Because it was still cold outside, so I shot it a little bit higher than usual at about 320 Fahrenheit. Oh. oh my god. Too much force. After it cooled down, I still try to demold it. Overall, it still looks okay. Um, plastic doesn't feel all the way to the fin area because it lost the pressure. But I think I can still use this to fish. Anyway, let's try again. This time I clamped down the belly plug, so let's see. It turned out there's a big dent on the body. So I think the sprue is not big enough to hold the material for the body to draw when it cools down. Also you can see the plaster salt doesn't fill in all the way in the top of the fin. So I will sand the mold a little bit and make the fin thicker. Next I'm gonna try the big hook slot configuration which will make the lure more hollow so less material is needed. Well. I kind of ruined the mold by sanding it too roughly. I need to use finer grit sandpaper. Probably use a little bit more pressure too when I shoot the mold. But I think the big hook slot works okay. After cleaning up the mold, I think I got it this time. And also when I shot the mold, I held the pressure a little bit longer. I think that helped. Let me give it some haircut. Alright, alright, here's my type of army. After several trials, finally I feel I can take a break. Although some of these are prototypes and far from perfection, but I think they are all fishable. I think I can still make the fins thicker. Uh, right now it's 0.6 millimeters. I think 0.8 will make it more durable and still maintain the good actions. Now let's go get some fish. Drop shot. Fish on. Oh, nice. It's a nice one. Not a bad one. Where's my? Okay. First tadpole fish. But where is it? Where's my tadpole? I lost the hit right here. First tadpole fish. Not bad. They like tadpole, huh? like it. See you later. I found it's a great skipping bait. Look. Okay. Weightless will work. Come back again. <laughs> 